Megan fumes as Jimmy Fallon blasts her for discriminating against Canwan locals on luxurious getaway. Meghan Markle has found herself under the spotlight once again, and as you would guess, it's not for any good reason. The charming host of The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon is now calling her out for discriminating against the locals while on her luxurious vacation with Prince Harry. But before we move any further, please do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, turn on the bell to keep up with all the antics that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may be up to. Let's start. It's been quite a tumultuous return to the limelight for Jimmy Fallon after a five-month-long writer's strike. He expressed his joy at being back on the big screen, exclaiming he was so happy and that he missed the show so much. However, the rumors surrounding a toxic work culture at his show didn't go untouched. When pressed about the scandal, Fallon smoothly dodged the question, saying he was just happy to be back before making a quick exit. Rumors are swirling that Jimmy called his staff members and apologized. Meanwhile, some of the producers he works with stood by his side and insisted that he is very supportive to his staff members. But here's the tea. Fallon took a direct jab at Meghan and Harry deriding their Netflix show. It is evident that he has low tolerance for the Sussexes, and it's not hard to figure out why. Last November, Meghan mysteriously disappeared from his guest list, indicating that a potential fallout or feud had occurred. Yet, the real bombshell dropped when a secret source unveiled backstage chatter, exposing Meghan and Harry's escapade to the secluded island of Kanoan. Turns out the opulent getaway had a sinister undertone. The island is nestled in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and the Sussexes were photographed walking hand in hand, capping off a busy week of self-promotion in New York. This quaint island, with a population of just over 12,000, is famed for its idyllic beaches and scenic beauty, including Grand Bay Beach near Charleston. But reports suggest that the island had been cordoning off the locals from accessing the road and visiting the popular beach. This is in order to cater exclusively to wealthy tourists like Meghan and Harry, leaving the local population feeling marginalized. Meghan's response, or rather her lack of it, left many locals disappointed. She neither boycotted the island nor raised her voice against this blatant discrimination. Locals said that right before Christmas last year, a particular investor was granted exclusive access with his family and friends. It appears that the beach now belongs to the wealthy and the locals are unwelcome. This is not the first time Meghan has been accused of selective humanitarianism. She's been accused of using people of color as mere props for her charity work while turning a blind eye to their struggles. Furthermore, a photograph of Meghan and Harry strolling on the island raised eyebrows when it was discovered that no one else appeared in the frame. It's almost like the island was closed off to other people and only them and photographers had access. Please share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more juicy details like this.